Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can map spreadsheet data and then connect all of those places quickly on one map. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So we're going to use Google's My Maps tool, which you can find by going to google.com slash maps, or you can go into your Google Drive and select the My Maps option there. But what we're first going to do is create our spreadsheet. And I've made a spreadsheet here of neat places to see in Maine. And you can see I've added a few places already. Let's add, let's say, one more place. And we're going to say we want to go to Acadia National Park. And I'm putting the location here. Now you can be as specific as you like, or you can go with a more general address. The important thing is you need to make sure you use city state format for your address. So in this case here with Sunday River, I've done a very specific address. And here I'm just using the, ci the city and state. And I'm gonna write in why you should visit it. Beautiful view of the Atlantic Ocean from the top of Cadillac Mountain. So I made my spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna go back into my maps and I'm gonna select create a new map and we're gonna have this blank untitled map. Let's call it places to see in Maine. Take a road trip through Maine. Now, what I'm going to do is with this first untitled layer, I'm going to select import and I'm going to import from Google Drive that spreadsheet that I called neat places to see in Maine. So I have neat places to see in Maine and we're going to specify we want to position our place marks according to the location column. You'll see here my location column is the location that I'm going to use for geolocating all those place marks. Now I want to title my markers and I'm going to use place name and we'll finish. So that's going to import all of those place markers for me. You can see I have four of them here. So if we zoom out, we have those four place markers and they're in blue. We can change the colors if we like to we can change the color by simply going over to it and you can see now I've changed that color right here. Change that one to orange as well. Change that one. You know, make that yellow. And we'll make this one a nice shade of purple. So I have my place markers in there. Now what I want to do is I want to add directions. So I'm going to add directions to connect all of these places. You'll see here I have this add directions button. And it starts with whatever my first place was listed. Create that new untitled layer. My first place in the list was Sunday River Ski Resort. The next place we're going to go is here. So I'm going to now start typing in Rangeley and it adds it in. It's automatically map that for me. Let's add another destination. I'm gonna type in Portland and it's now connecting all those places for me. And I'll add another destination. And now we have Acadia. So now all those places have been mapped for me. Now, if I wanted to take one out or I wanted to swap them around, maybe I'll take out this one here and I'll go back to Portland Headlight I'm going to change that one to be Acadia. Now I'm going to add a destination of Portland Headlight. And now you can see I'm making more of a loop. I can add a destination again, and I'll go back to Sunday River. 
and it completes my loop around that part of the state. So that's how you can import spreadsheet data into a Google map and connect all of the places rather quickly. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.